funny, but you're, you're like somebody who does a double take in a Ninja Turtle aisle. I'll free clap that. You know what I'm saying? I'll take three. Like, What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Dia Castell, Gatman, Young Jack, and this is Castell Collects. Uh, Castell Collects, Castell Collects, yeah. Hit that Macari, sell what he gets, yeah. He do unboxings and giveaways, yeah. Let's get to watching what he gets today, yeah. Castell Collects, Castell Collects, yeah. Castell Collects, Castell Collects, yeah. He do unboxings and giveaways, yeah. Let's get to watching what he gets today, yeah. Castell Collects. All right, guys, so you saw the live video a few days ago last week of a lot of live pieces that I had in the vault right here. Jack, show the vault. That's the vault. So we actually took a bunch of stuff out. It's all going on to the Macari site. You can see Macari here. 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 That is the Macari. If you guys are interested in buying any of the pieces that you saw come out of the vault, not all of them went out, but a bunch of them did. But anyway, Gatman is feeling much better. We've got another vault to unbox. And if you guys didn't watch the live, right there below the boxes that you can see under Gat is only half a vault is the cushy pillow. So again, guys, at the end of the video, if you watch, you can find out how you can get yourself a free cushy pillow. It's an invention that I created. I'll leave the uh, details below, but let's get into it. Gaddy, let's go. All right, Gatman, give me the first piece. So the first piece involved here, I show this in the vault. I actually have two of these. So I thought this was a really cool figure. Uh, I, this is a brand new one in box, but the tape did pop. So I am going to likely put this Mystic Force Power Ranger on the Makari. Now, I buy these things because when I think of Power Rangers or it's cool, even though they were way after me, I just got to buy it and own it. So that's what I did. Jack's got a um, Pokemon set. So again, you guys know I have a little bit of Pokemon weird fetish. I don't know if that's the right thing to say, but yeah, I bought this. It was buy one, get one free. So I bought two of them. Pretty stoked about it. Keep it going. Then when these Power Rangers Lightning series came out, this pudgy pig uh, actually was like one of the first villains that they produced for the show, which is really, really, really awesome. And I'm really excited that I bought them because they went on clearance target of like $7 each. They're worth little to nothing, but they're long holds for me. And hopefully one day they'll be worth something. Yeah. Again, again, we have Power Rangers Lightning Series, uh, the Piranha Eye Guy. We got the Putties. The Putties is actually for my personal collection, but the Eye Guy, oh, this is also personal collection. This is a double duplicate. Got them on clearance. Can't be mad at it. Oh, we're going to keep it rolling. Yeah. Now, this Goldar is really dope. There's actually a couple different versions of this. This is the Goldar with the wings. If you don't know the story, Lord Zed stole the wings from him. And it's after Lord Zed killed his brother. Really dark, dark craziness behind uh, Goldar over here. But a ton of lightning collection. I'm just watching them just pile them out. Uh, oh, geez, he's just breaking everything that we paid a lot of money for. The Ninja Turtle series, the crossover for Ninja Turtles and... The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Shredder, who was actually the Green Ranger, I think. Um, the Space Red Ecliptor. They made, this is just a variant. I don't know if it's actually part of the show, but very cool. Wow, there's a lot of lightning stuff here. My favorite evil villain in Power Rangers, Snizzard. If you saw in the vault, I already have quite a few of them. But because he's my favorite character, I bought a lot. And when I thought that the Rangers uh, in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was going to be a hit... I bought a few of the Green Ranger Shredders just because I thought it was so awesome. To me, to be perfectly honest with you, in the future, I could see that being a home run. Right now, it's definitely not the case. But like I was saying with the Ecliptor, this is Ecliptor and Astromina. She was really hot, honestly. This piece has gone up exponentially right now, and I'm really impressed. I'm going to rock out with it. Um, again, more of these damn lightning series. Um, the Pumpkin Wrapper. I think I have a few of these, now, and I think there's another variant with a black box. I'm pretty sure I have that. So a lot of the stuff that's coming out of this particular closet was things that I said I wouldn't sell. Now, there's always a chance of wouldn't, may, might, sort of, kind of. You never really know. What is that? Oh, so this is another Power Ranger. Um, it, the box popped. That sucks. But it's a brand new. I, I don't know which series this is from. I think it's from Lost Galaxy. But it was really, really, really cheap. Uh, it is the Japanese version. It's a long hold, something to hold on to for a little while. But who knows, I might let it go. I think I paid $65 for it. Um, it is Lost Galaxy. Oh, here is the, the Sphinx. What sucks is his wing came loose. But this is the Sphinx. This is the variant, the black variant, the Target exclusive. 
Love that. Well, you're switching it up out of nowhere, guys? Look yeah, at that. Whoever organized this closet didn't know what he was doing. I don't like your damn attitude. Mm. All right, so we had the clear table because it was getting out of line and Jack was really slacking over here. So in order to keep the peace, we had to clean up the lightning cat collection. Jack, you're part of the team right now, bro. Yeah. You and your half a mustache. Like, you are part yeah. of our squad. So anyway, back to the reality of this. So a piece that Gat just pulled out that I really love are NECA lines. Now, I don't have a lot of them, but I'm a big Shredder fan. And I think they did such a badass version of this Shredder. It reminds me just like the movie. And if you guys don't know, let's see if I get out the light. There you go. You can see how cool it is. What's really cool about this, which no one really knows, is that this is actually Kevin Nash from the WWF. So if you don't know that fun fact, Kevin Nash was actually the super shredder in the TNG Ninja Turtles number two, The Secret of the Ooze. Did you know about that, Jack? Nope. Well, now you do. What else you got over there? I got a couple more Secret of the Oozes. Again, Secret of the Ooze. They have another super shredder with a different variant box. Um, this one, same exact guy. He's got a little more color to him. But again, Kevin Nash. And they actually show the scene uh, with the NECA toys in the back. Very cool. What else you got? Another one. This is Seeker the Ooze before he turns into a Super Shredder. But he's actually holding uh, all the goods. And then what else? Oh, and then we got we got more Ninja Turtles, Gat? Uh, a little bit later. Okay. And then we have my favorite character in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles outside of Turtles. And it is Triceraton. So I bought a couple of these. I was going to open up one. I never did. I'm just going to hold them for a little while and see what happens. All right, we got more. It's just a very random closet of stuff. And Gatman's kind of confused himself. Again, random. Mechagodzilla Funko Pop. I can't stand Funko Pops. I know I got a few. Gatman always hypes it up. I really don't have that many. Okay, I have a good amount of them. But whatever. We're here now. Um, love this figure. I thought this is the coolest Marvel Legends uh, it has part of a Build-A-Figure Bone Breaker, but I don't see where the part is. There is no part for Bone Breaker, but this is the best Marvel Legends figure of them all, this Wolverine. And I love when you can find things in the wild and just be like, yo, I just finally got that. Oh, this is really cool. I actually paid $7 for this on a GameStop um, clearance, but I am selling all my Halo stuff. I have real new use for it. I don't know if this will make the cut, but uh, yeah, Cortana lights up. I don't know. I'm going to think about selling this. I'm not really 100% sure. That closet was really for things that I wasn't going to sell. But to be honest with you, anything is possible. I actually also have for my Digimon collection, this uh, Imperial... Dr what is this? Oh, yeah. It's Dr Imperial Draymond. So I got this brand new on clearance for $30 at GameStop. But it sells for like $100 now. And I don't really have a lot of SH Figure Arts... Uh, Digimon, but because I don't, I probably will keep this. I don't know. It could go on the chopping block at any day. Oh, we got a stack of... Oh, no. This is going to be really bad. There's like 300 of these in here. So, this is the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Evil Space Villains. There's a whole ton of them in here. Of course, the goat himself, Lord Zed. Some of the boxes are a little chewed up and banged up. But I do actually have this piece right here, which is the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Jason uh, kicking action figure. I love this piece. And when I was a kid, my buddy attached it to one of my kites. It flew up in the air and it fell and broke its leg. And I thought I was going to literally kill him. I literally thought I was going to, yeah, I was going to kill him. 100% was going to kill the guy. All right, Jack, hit me with it. Oh, Jack. So I went out of my way to buy this because... They're so cool. I, yeah, I didn't want to own separate figures. I didn't want to get too deep into Ninja Turtles, which Gatman's always like, you have so many Ninja Turtles. Shut up, Gatman. You're full of it. Gatman, I have two statues. That's it. Say something different right now. Oh, wait. No, no, no. I, you don't have that many, but you're, you're like somebody who does a double take in a Ninja Turtle aisle. I'll three clap that. You know what I'm saying? I'll take three. Like, you go back. Ooh, I, I kind of want that. And then, like, a couple months down the road, it, it somehow ends up here. I'll free clap that again. Yeah. I'm into it. I'm into that. But this is actually my favorite part of these. And I think this is part of... Is this Playmates? Yeah, it's Playmates. Nickelodeon, it's not Neck or anything? Yeah, it's just Playmates. So, Nickel Playmates. Uh, so, Nickelodeon is the brand gotcha. that owns the rights Turtles. So, what's really cool about this is you get the best of both worlds. So, you actually get... Kind of like the old school meets the new fig new school type figure. So you have Michelangelo and Bebop. You have, of course, my favorite, the, tri the Triceraton and Raphael. 
Then you have Donatello and Shredder. And then last but not least, you need to have Rocksteady and Leo. So you get the whole series by just having this. I love that. I think it was great. And I'm pretty sure I only paid like $20 each for them because people were selling them for really, really, really cheap. Let's keep going. Gatman keeps bombarding me stuff. We got young Jack right here. Now, Jack, you have recently been brought down the rabbit hole. Oh, I can't believe I bought these. You've been brought down the rabbit hole and I've helped you destroy your life, which I'm so excited about, with buying statues. So while we're doing this, Gatman is passing me some Jurassic Park Funko Pops. I bought this for $7 on clearance and I was so excited to get it. So I, it's definitely a keeper. But then along with that, these were all clearance. Like some of the most famous scenes in Jurassic Park when uh, this guy got lit up by the raptor. Then there's the kids inside the, the dining hall uh, with the two raptors in it. Very, very, very cool. So Jack, you're a younger guy. I'm ruining yours and your uh, future cousin's life with yep. action figures and toys and all that. So I gotta ask you, what are your favorite things to purchase? Your favorite characters, what do you got, bro? I don't, it, it, right now it's Batman, you know, it, for like a, just Batman in general. Well, you bought a but, couple pieces though, right? Yeah, I had the Joker one from Tweeterhead and then a Batman Dark Knight Returns. And those are the only two. I but, mean, the Returns one didn't come yet though, Yeah, right? it didn't come yet. Oh, that's the one with the lightning. That's the yeah. one with the big Yeah, lightning. so if you, who's that, that sideshow, who is that? Uh, I'll have to look at it. Yeah, but I forget. It's either Sideshow or Iron Studios. Side show, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it could be Sideshow or Iron Studios. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you guys have seen a ton of videos of me doing statues, but this is the generation that's going to help buy all mine when I go to sell them. So that's the generation we look out for because it is a very weird industry. It like goes up and down very dramatically. And then you just hope that you have some kind of value in the future. And right now, if you're a statue collector, you know there's really nothing going on. And guys like me and Gatman, who are just collectors and love what we collect, we don't really sell. But there will come a time when you have to make room, which I'm experiencing now with some of the statues I'm going to be selling. I'm a box opener. I'm not a favorite collector. I'm a box opener. Says the guy that's Funko Pops are in a box? No. They're all out of box? Oh, yeah. I take everyone out. Yep. Do you really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's a thumbnail. Okay. Yeah, everyone. All right. So we're going to keep going with some of the Power Rangers Lightning mm -hmm. Collection. Um... The variant, this is the space, Power of Space. Actually, that's a gift that Dolly got me. Shocking, you guys heard me say Dolly's name a hundred times last time. Um, this is Trini versus Scorpina. Then you know you have to get the Pink Rangers versus Pink Rangers, of course. And we still have more of the Ninja Turtle collection popping up and out all over the place over there. What else you got for me, Jack? Oh, I bought two sets of these because I love cool. these warriors. These are, the, what did you say? This coming up is cool. Oh, these are the Tangu Warriors. I had to buy two boxes and they were on clearance. Love it, love it, love it. It's a shame that a lot of things I like go on clearance because it means that nobody likes them and they're never going to have value, but here I am buying them anyway. Nah, it's all good. Oh, Gatman likes these because these are the Ninja Turtle editions. I, I don't uh, buy Ninja Turtles. It's Power Rangers, <laughs> guy. Are you kidding me? I'm more of a Ninja Turtle. You're more of a Ninja Turtle? No, that's more of a Ninja Turtle toy mm -hmm. than it is a Power Ranger it toy. Bro, are you high? Yeah. It's literally, yes, I am. look at the Power Ranger box and look at this box. Ninja Turtle does not look anything like this. It is a Power yeah, Ranger. You're right, okay. I, I know I'm right. I don't like to be the bus driver taking school, but here we are. More Ninja Turtles and Power Rangers. And of course, the one of the original villains that you saw before from Lightning Series this is the original never open box of the Sphinx. Here he is right here. All right, Jack, assume the position. Keep fucking awesome. That's a lot, bro. Like, dude, turn around. Turn around. I, I, I can see you. Like, I'm, it's, I'm not even a quarter through, buddy. Don't say that. Ain't nothing but a heart. Keep it coming. <laughs> All right, so you guys already know, I always talk about these. I love these six-inch, seven-inch um pokemon select figures i think they are absolutely incredible uh when cinnadon cinnadon is that his name like that he evolves into typhlosion this one's awesome it sells for like 40 dollars right, right now and i bought it for 20 so that's a that's a little 20 dollar come up oh we have more pokemon which i again i went down this rabbit hole 
Um, you know, and I didn't need to do this, but here we are. Arcanine, and I think it gets darker down this path. Are we still going down that path? Oh, no, we're not. So well, we can go down that path. Gabby, don't do that path! Go it. We can go down it. Again, oh. some vintage Digimon. This is the Japanese version of Flame Dramon. It's a little bit sunburnt, which sucks, but honestly, it's the same exact as the American figure, just in Japanese. So I like it. I love it. I'm going to keep rocking with it. And then we do have the uh, Transformers Kingdom War of Cybertron. This is the uh, Megatron that turns into T Rex. I showed you guys on the last video during the vault, we have the remakes of them from the original ones, and they're gonna go next to the statue that I just bought of them. So I'm very excited to keep those in the collection. What else we got? Oh, it's my favorite, hands down, bar none. This is my favorite original Marvel's Legends figure, my boy Colossus, arguably one of my, he's in my top five, my top five X-Men superheroes right here. What the hell is that? Oh my God. Oh, I forgot I'd go down this path of sickness. What, there's more. <laughs> is, I didn't even know I had that. What is that? Well, it is that. Oh, my God. So, again, Pokemon Select. Jack, you're going to have to assume position over there, buddy. Holy Pokemon fuck Select. Fuck, bro. Uh, Samurott, Pokemon Select. Uh, Dragon Pult, Pokemon Select. I don't even know which one this is. Whoa, I didn't even know they made this. The Venusaur, uh, Bulbasaur Evolution, Pokemon Select. Oh, my God. Tyranitar. Pokemon Select. Please tell me it's all Pokemon Select. Do not give me any more Pokemon Select. Dude, they're, more, they're definitely good, me. I just, they're blocked by other shit. I don't even know what that is, Gat, man. I don't even know what it is. This? This is pretty cool. This isn't what I was saying. What do we got? Oh, this is awesome. So, this is the Transformers Beast Hunters. Uh, part of a really good series, actually. I, it's more of a newer series. I did watch it, but this character was really, really, really cool. Um, they were talking about the Predacons. Um which I think is really awesome to add to the series. It was like adding a whole new wave of Autobots and... You know what I'm talking about, Jack? I think so. Well, you're saying yes. Did you know? No, I was just nodding my head. I was like, mm -hmm. Oh, you were acknowledging. You were vibing with it. Yeah. Jack was vibing. I like that. Okay, Jack, the younger generation vibe and have. Um, so Predakings, Predacons. This was the coolest one of all of them. I remember I couldn't buy it when I was younger. It was only $28 back when I was a kid. I think I paid $50 now for it, but it's going for like $110. So definitely a come up. Happy to own it in the collection. I didn't do a video on these, but I think we're going to do a video on these. Yeah, guys. yeah we should. We're going to do a video on these. So I rebought um, one of each of these because I think these are a really cool collection. They are moving uh, Legos, basically. Mega is a some form of Lego. It's not the same patent, whatever. But it's really cool. You build it and it runs. I really, really, really like that a lot. Oh, that's one of my favorite Star Wars pieces, Gatman. Oh, Gatman seems very intrigued. This is hands down the coolest Transformer ever. This is, in fact, the Millennium Falcon, and it transforms into Han Solo and Chewbacca. So, two pieces that combine into one. I do have like the Darth Maul and the Luke Skywalker one, but um, this is really awesome. Really, really, really awesome. And I paid $35 for it. They sell for about 100, but the guy was just trying to get rid of his collection. The downside is it's got a big old crack in the side of it, but yeah, beggars can't be chooser. I'm just happy to add it because I ain't selling it. Oh, God, man, what are you doing to me? Uh, just give it to me. Why not? Why have one when you can have two? Yo, you want to hear a fun fact? What? So this is you have two, two you already have. I don't have two of them, Gatman. Shut up. Okay, I do have the first one. I have two of, and the second one I have two of. Okay. Yeah, I'm looking, literally looking at the second one right over there. There's literally it's right there. Um, believe it or not, this is another gift from Dolly. So I know we shout out Dolly a lot, but this is like five years ago. Dolly and his girlfriend got me this, Gatman. So, the Kick Action uh, Power Rangers, Zach, this is the worst one of it, which you just saw. I have three of these, actually, so I'll just shut up now. It's a completely demolished uh, box of Jason the Red Ranger. Thank you. Uh, we have the Kick Action Trini. Again, the boxes are rough, but these are just very cool because these are the vintage ones. And you have Kimberly, such a smoke show. And you have Billy, again, a toasted box. Damn it, Gatman! I kind of didn't want Gatman to pull these out, but he did, but whatever. Again, I went down, there's a dark time in my life where I just started buying 
these damn Pokemon action figures, but Scythe are so badass, and this one sells for like $50, and Pidgeot is kind of the goat when he flies away. Whatever, I'm putting them back in the box. I'm not even going to pretend I even saw them. I'm just so pissed that I bought them because they probably really aren't worth more than what I say they are. I'm just kind of guesstimating. Get it out of my face. <laughs> yeah, so Hess Trunks. Um... Oh, there's a lot of them. <laughs> Dude, we hit that hard. We hit that hard. So if y'all if y'all are ever a part of the our generation, we're eighties baby. Are you eighties baby or nineties baby? Yeah, damn, I'm old. But um I was born in the eighties, he's born in ninety, so it's a four year difference. But the Hesh trucks were like the biggest thing back then. Okay. Ever. Some of these are actually mine, I think, from when I was a kid. But there was, but let me tell you something. You couldn't get the Hesh trucks when they dropped. People now, if you don't know what Hesh is, Hesh was a gas station that was bought by uh, Speedway. 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 So Speedway, which is now part of Seven Eleven, took over Hess. So they don't have Speedway cars, but. There was a point where you, people would be fighting over these hash trucks. And then I remember Getty did it, Snoko did it, BP did it. But they nobody made it, touched. But the nobody truck. touched the hash truck. I have quite a few hash trucks. I doubt they'll ever be worth anything ever again. But these are very cool and they'll stay forever. So this is the Lunchbox version. Um, the Pudgy Pig Lunchbox. It's the same exact toy that you saw before, but it comes in this cool little like vintage like Lunchbox. Because what he would do is he would eat all the Power Ranger stuff. He wouldn't poop it out or anything, and he would just kind of just like have it in his stomach. I don't know, that's what he did. So back to what we were saying before, these mega block. We're gonna do a mega uh, tutorial about these because they're very, very, very cool. And there's I'm so much. On them. There's just so much more Pokemon. I cannot believe how much Pokemon there is. I'm so sorry to this myself, but we will do a review on these. They're very, very, very cool. I don't have doubles of a couple, but they are awesome, and I do have, I honestly have quite a few of them. I really do enjoy building them. Oh, the Togepi. I'm, I'm not throwing out the box, but I do have this. This is Burger King. They were giving you, like, they were, like, gold, them. uh, There's you don't know about gold these. Plates. It's on the side. They're gold the plates. I have them over there, but they were gold plates of the Pokemon, and they came in a really cool Pokeball. It was really awesome. Those might be stacked, like, really neat. Oh, like, yeah. Wow, what are these? I bet you these all connect into each other, huh? I bet you that I don't want to take any of those out. I bet you I don't either. Yeah, let's leave those in there. So, you guys know I'm a, I'm a Digimon head, so of course I have to have a couple pieces of Digimon. They are hidden throughout there. This is like a metallic line. Very, very, very cool. It is an open box. It's a little beat up, but again, for the PC, it ain't going nowhere. Okay, back to these Lightning Collection things. Here's the clearance sticker. So it shows you $15. I think it was originally... $31 for this. I only paid $6 for them, so I bought a ton of them when they went on super clearance. Oh, my girl Rita and Lord Zed. This is the variant version of that. I love this piece. It's one of my favorite pieces that they made. I think this is a Hasbro. I don't know. It's a, I don't know where I got this. I think Target. I don't really remember. Hey, bro. Welcome to the party, bud. What the heck is that? Oh, another stupid purchase. So this is this gigantic... Power Ranger train that turns into a big old Megazord. This is one of those like spur of the moment purchases because I thought it was such a cool piece. This one is brand new. It doesn't have any, uh, it's got a screwed up box, but it is new. And potentially one day I will take it out of the box. I, I mean, actually, is it even new? I don't even remember. Dang it. This thing, it might be actually really crappy and I just bought something I didn't really, oh yeah, it's used and I was really dumb. With me. A horrible purchase. I'm selling it. I don't even want to see it. It was a dumb move. I didn't need it. I'm selling it. One of Hasbro's <coughs> biggest scams right here, guys. If you want to get scammed by Hasbro, buy any of their products because they don't care about you and they will sell you things that are absolute garbage. Thank you, Hasbro, for continuing to ruin the toy market. You are number one in excellence of screwing things up. You still buy Hasbro stuff, don't you? Just the, just the Star Wars Black Series helmets. Okay, well, they're going to hate you now. Pound it. Thank you. That was a necessary purchase, huh? It wasn't a bad purchase, though. Who else can get... This is a keep. This is a keep. This is the original Halo. and the, No, the original Halo and then the new Halo Master Chief. This is badass. 
This was another clearance project product. Can't beat that, Dad. Another good one. There's so much, there's so much Pokemon. Gotta catch them all! Wait, I thought this Blastoise was yours. I got you the Blastoise. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. This Blastoise is yours. No, you didn't. This is yours. You giving it? Yes, you're but this is Gatman's favorite Pokemon, and I bought it for him, and I thought I gave him one, but apparently I didn't. But it's yours, Gat. Fair, bro. I look then, like him. This is my favorite one. I mean, you definitely look like him. <laughs> and then one of my favorites, Lucario. There's more? Dude, I wasn't lying before when I said I don't think we're a quarter three. Yeah, there's there's a lot. Don't say that, guy, man. Okay, there's not a lot. Is there really a lot? Yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like, sub subscribe, comment below. We got Gatman in the building. What, what? We got Jack in the building. This is a complete disaster on vault number two. I can't even stress to you how much this is. There's so much stuff. Are you holding another Pokemon? I want to use you. Oh, thank God. All right, good. But there is so many things happening in that closet. It's only half of a vault. And there is actually... And if you want one. <laughs> <laughs> like, subscribe, comment below. We'll see you in the next video. This was your boy, Dio Castell. And this is Castell Collects. Take care. You teach me and I'll teach you Pokemon! Pokemon. Gotta catch them all! Choo, 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 choo.